Hello, welcome back. So today let's try constructing the complex numbers for RC network and RL network. So first let us consider RC network. I have already done uh, RC network. Okay. Now for an RC network, the impedance triangle was drawn something like this. R, X, E, and Z. Now, to create a complex number, what we have to do is, we have to draw the X axis and Y axis. In the sense, you will have to sketch a two dimensional plane. Okay. So, just let us take it as X axis, and this we can take it as Y axis. Now, in mathematics, we have already seen the complex number. Usually, we write complex numbers as something like z is equal to x plus i1, where i is equal to complex operator. And the value of i is under root minus 1. The same notation we are going to use for even uh, uh, in electrical engineering. But in electrical engineering, we will not be considering the complex operator as I because this small i in electrical engineering we have used to represent instantaneous current. So that's the reason you will not find any impedance description in terms of i. So in, in, uh, in place of i, we take operator j where j is basically under root minus 1. So technically speaking, operator j is equal to operator i. We have used j in electrical engineering just to avoid the overlapping of operator i with instantaneous current i. So now let us convert into a complex plane. So x axis is your real axis okay. and y axis is your imaginary axis. So positive y is your plus y axis and negative y is your minus i axis. Okay. For our discussion let us consider j. Alright. So now you see your capacitive reactance Xc is projected along negative j axis. Are you following? The capacitive reactance Xc is projected along the negative j axis. That's the reason whenever you write and complex notation for a capacitive circuit, RC circuit, you would take Z is equal to real part plus or minus imaginary part okay. or Z is equal to real part. To our context, real part is resistance R and the imaginary part is nothing but the reactance which was projected along the imaginary axis. Over here Xc is being projected along minus J axis hence along with the sign you can write the imaginary part as minus J into Now let us consider RL circuit. In case of RL circuit, the impedance triangle was something like this. R 
एक्सेल रिजल्टेंट जेड सो लेट्स अप्लाई द सिमिलर टेक्निक व्हिच वी हैड अप्लाइड बाय हैंडलिंग आर सी सॉफ्टवेयर सो वी डिवाइड वी ड्रॉ अ कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लेन अ टू डायमेंशनल प्लेन real axis and imaginary axis okay. so upside is positive j axis and in the downward direction it is negative j axis when you write the complex number for rl circuit what you can do is you can first write on the real part which is resistance r and then you can write on the imaginary part along with the sign plus or minus j in case of rl circuit the inductive reactance axis is projected along positive imaginary axis so you can take the imaginary part as plus j x so that's your complex notation okay so for rl circuit the complex notation is r plus j x on the other hand for a rc circuit the complex notation is r minus j x this is for r c circuit so magnitude of impedance if at all you want to find you can take mod z and you can apply pythagoras here so mod z is equal to under root r square plus xl square okay this is for rl circuit and for rc circuit the modulus of impedance is r square plus x square the phase angle can be found phase angle can be found from the right angle triangle this is xc this is r and this is z and this is phi so you can apply the trigonometry to find out the phase angle that is tan phi is equal to opposite by adjacent that is x e by r or phi is equal to tan inverse of x e by r similarly instead of tan phi you can even apply sin phi or cos phi so if you write sin phi you would get opposite by hypotenuse that is xc by z in case of cosine angle it is adjacent by hypotenuse that is r divided by z okay you can check the consistency of the formula when you take sin square phi 